السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته معكم الدكتور ناصر القحطاني هسه مساعد الاستعاضة الصينية في جامعة الملك خالد ورئيس قسم التشخيص بايجر فم اشكر سناب امتياز الاستضافة الاهلية وان شاء الله حنقدم ماتيريال مرة حلوة محاضرة مختصرة مفيدة عن الزيركونيا بنتكلم مور اباوت ذا سيكرتس اوف زيركونيا ذا جايد لاينز ذات وي نيد ديورينج ذا بريب اتس نوت ان ديتيل اتس جونا بي بريفلي لكن is very important points. Uh, in general, the evolution of the crowns and material, it's more about the patient demands. Yeah, I mean, patients want more aesthetic. Uh, they used to go for more function. Nowadays, they would go for more aesthetic. And I know the subjective things about the aesthetic is changing time with time. Uh, before, it was metal crowns. Uh, then we changed to PFM. Crown, then we go for more aesthetic uh, material. Up to now, we have the most aesthetic uh, material for crown, which is the lithium disilicate. Zirconia is something that we share uh, between the strength of the metal and uh, our metal, PL metal uh, crowns and the aesthetic look that, it, that improve a lot uh, more than the PFM. That is Zirconia. It has a high flexure strength, and it's talking about up to uh, 1,200 megapascal. Like uh, in brittle, it's not ductile like the metal alloys, the gold alloys, and it's talking about compared to the PFM. Uh, and crack propagation very fast. Uh, that's why we have to pay attention for details, either for the material itself, the design of the framework, uh, the um, uh, preparations, the crowns or bridges. And connection size, uh, uh, even though the veneering zirconia, the, the, the thickness of the material itself. So we're going to talk about all of this uh, in detail today. طبعا الزك نسمع كثير terms وأكثر الناس ما يعرفوا متى نستخدم هذه وش نستخدم يعني زي Zircon, Zirconia, Zirconium. What is the differences between all of those three? طبعاً في اختلاف كبير بالأسماء. Zircon is a minerals. يستخرج من الأرض يباع شكله ممتاز. It's a mix of zirconium mixed with some precious stones. أو يباع إنه يستخدم في بعض المجوهرات. هذا الزيركون اللي يقال عنه زيركون. بالنسبة للترم زيركونيوم هذا it's an element في the periodic table so it's not uh, a material it's just an element it's a transitional metal element so uh, zirconium yes it's a metal but it is a transitional metal in periodic table which is if mixed with something else it tend to be not a metal anymore so zirconium by itself it's a metal element when we mix it with uh, uh, oxide or um, then we talk about ceramic so what is zirconia zirconia is actually what we use in dentistry which is a mix of the zirconium elements with oxide so it's a zirconium oxide which tend to be uh, a ceramic material uh, this is the right term we should use uh, yes uh, there is a lot of marketing name and you know, a blocks zirconium zircon zirconium but the right term is zirconia which is the zirconium oxide Zirconia atoms it can arrange in a different uh, allotropes. It can come in monolithic uh, arrangement or tetragonal or cubics. For the monoclinic, uh, it's stable at a room temperature. When we raise the more than 17, uh, 11, 17 degree, uh, we get a tetragonal. More than 23, 17 degree, we can have a cubics form of full allotropes. Uh, they have to be stable on their own temperature. Yani, for example, tetragonal, it cannot be stable at room temperature. Uh, cubics, it cannot be stable 
below 2370 degree. طيب انا ايش ممكن استفيد من هذه التروبس؟ which one انه right arrangement للزركونيا؟ But talking about the allotropes, the monoclinic compared to tetragonin or the cubics, uh, a tetragonin arrangement equals the zirconium, a zirconia material is a uh, high mechanical properties, physical properties. بعده على طول cubics ثم monoclinic. Monoclinic zirconia is usually uh, lower uh, mechanical properties than the other uh, allotropes. طيب وعشان نحصل على high uh, mechanical properties. We want to keep it على التتراجونال وإحنا قلنا إنه التتراجونال uh, stable على نفس الألتروبز في درجة حرارة عالية جدا كيف ممكن إحنا نسوي الستابلايزيشن على التتراجونال uh, Luckily إنه قدرنا إن إحنا إنه نبقي على التتراجونال فيز على الروم تمبرنتشر هاو أضفوا بعض الستابلايزر زي الكازيم أوكسايد مغنيزيم أوكسايد وتيري أوكسايد الموست كومن لتيري أوكسايد مع 3 molecules or 3 مول percent uh, يكون عندي fully stabilized tetragonal zirconium phase only it's not mixed with cubics not mixed with monoclinic that's why in the bottle article negative 3 YTZP which is me 3 مول percent of deuterium oxide uh, uh, to stabilize tetragonal zirconium polycrystals ال ال crystals تبع ال ال tetragonal zirconia and no matter uh, glasses in between Uh, mostly it's a grain, there is no matrix of a glasses. عشان كذا ما في translucency و... والراديو بسيتي في عالي لانه الجلاس it's not present in the zirconia. That's why you know, دائما نقول ان الزرقونية it's opaque, opaque, opaque because there is no glass on it. الزرقونية فيها شيء magic عن باقي الماتيريال فيها شيء يسمونه transformation technique. لما يصير في مايكرو كراك في الماتيريال تتحول التتراجونال الى مونوكلينيك لما تتحول من تتراجونال الى مونوكلينيك الفوليوم يزيد لما يزيد الفوليوم على التب اوف ذا كراك يصير في ستوب للكراك بروباجيشنز This is why the magic of this material is it's it's not only the, the aesthetic like even the science behind it is uh, something intriguing طيب احنا لما نشتري عشان نسوي ميلينج لازم نشتري الديسك اللي هو الزركونيا ديسك، الزركونيا ديسك هل هي تتراجنا ولا مونوكلينيك؟ طبعا هي مونوكلينيك، طيب ايش الفائده؟ انه نبغى احنا تتراجنا وفي الاخير نشتري مونوكلينيك. احنا نبغى الماتيريال تكون الهاردنس اقل، علشان لما نسوي ميلينج ما ياخذ وقت اكثر، ما يتطلب ماتيريال كثيره في البيرز اللي احنا نغير كل مره في الميلينج ماشين، فلازم تكون الهاردنس اقل علشان نقدر نسوي الميلينج بسهوله عشان كذا تكون مانول كلينك لما نسوي ميلينج نسوي لها بروسيسنج بهيت بحيث انها توصل للتتراجونال فيز وتكون ستابلايزد ات ذات تمبرتشر لما تطلع الكراون من الميلينج تكون طبعا فيري وايت انه ويكون باودري ليتل بيت على السيرفيس هو مونوكلينك ويكون الكراون از لارج ذان نورمال طبعا هذا الهدف منه انه يكون لارج لانه لما نسوي هيت وبروسيسنج للكراون افتر الميلينج عشان نوصل التتراجونال بيصغر في الحجم ولما يصغر في الحجم ات هاز تو بي ان ذا اكزاكت سايز حق الكراون براك عشان كذا البرسنتج حق الشرينكيج بعد البروسيسنج از 30% So we have to, it has to be calculated in no bad 30% it should be at the same size and no fit on the patient mouth. استخدامات الزركونيا in dentistry it's not only you know for the crown or bridges it could be used in zirconia as an implant in zirconia implant nowadays there is zirconia brackets for ortho there is zirconia post and core There's a zirconium processes too, so uh, it's not only for processes. It could be used for another specialty. في طريقتين للفابريكيشن للزركونيا كراون أو بريتش أو فيكس بارش دنتشنز. في شيء يسمونه فينير زركونيا معناته إنه الزركونيا used as a core or cubing. وبعدين في بورسن application on top of it. وفي اللي هو المونوليثيك زركونيا which is إنه 
كل one layer of the cornea there is no porcelain application on top of it we call it full anatomical uh, the cornea crown or bridges or fixed parcel dentures بالنسبة للمونوليثيك or full anatomical zirconia crown um, there is a guidelines we have to follow the preparations uh, we have to be really careful uh, for those preparations zirconia yeah, is a st uh, strong material but it is still brittle so we have to be careful about the design of the zirconia framework or the full anatomical zirconia itself لما نتكلم عن المارجن it has to be chamfer لأسباب uh, كثيرة أول شيء إنه uh, knife edge or a feather edge there is a risk in what the milling you know you can too thin when you can see low shipping or you see fee uh, edge deformities little, little crown itself so it has to be thick enough no no I saw the milling and no my see low crack always low chipped off so with margin it have to be a chamfer uh, with the thickness of the margin it should be at least uh, 0.3 which is difficult sometimes to measure 0.3 so be safe and prep at 2.5 2.5 is still be conservative and it'll give you a good thickness and material in no mycelial uh, fracture or catastrophic fracture with the time but next spell laxer reduction uh, a minimum in a cone 0.5 uh, millimeter top on one millimeter will give you strength of material uh, the monolithic uh, strength uh, gained by the thickness of material as a color yani all around I don't know if they can be mantika daifa it can be fractured so being uh, have an axial thickness of one millimeter will give you have high chance of no mycelia fracture below 0.5 millimeter there is a high chance of you can fracture or crack the material the cruiser clearance or reduction the full anatomical zirconic crown or monolithic zirconic crown you can at least one millimeter then the function cusp it's it's the cusp that it will be in stress on stress most of the time we can force a little bit so let's go on and had three no my corner call one millimeter طبعا ما ننسى نسوي البيفل فانكشن الكاسب بيفل which is about 45 degree and they increase the durability the material itself we might come for you at a high points or char points and with the time it will propagate the crack and uh, cause a catastrophic fracture clearance al fossa it should be more than um, one millimeter or at least one millimeter below that there's a high chance on the can see fracture on the can have especially no the opposing is a functional cusp of the opposing tooth so we should be careful because it's under stress most of the time clearance alpha say it should be more than um, one millimeter or at least one millimeter below that there is a high chance on the team can see fracture on the can have especially no the opposing is a functional cusp of the opposing tooth so we should be careful because it's under stress most of the time the fossa it should not be sharp uh, if it is a sharp there will be high chance you no know, you can feel uh, crack uh, propagation at that um, points and it's kind of I don't know if it should be round as much as we can if we try you know make a chart to make a more anatomical or more aesthetic there will be high chance and no one can see fractures so we should be really careful you now fabricate the crown and you should be rounded feature all over the crown because we don't want any points to start the crack on it as we said in the zirconia it's a brittle material, it's not like a metal alloy, the gold alloy, which is more ductile. For non-functional cusp, uh, it's okay the minimum thickness is to 0.5 there because there is no uh, stress on it. It's not under stress most of the time. So 0.5 is enough for a reduction on the non-functional cusp. The other method to fabricate the zirconia crown is the zirconia only core or cubic we apply porcelain on top of it so this is what we call veneered zirconia طبعا veneered zirconia سبب نحن نحط عليه porcelain on top of it and it come more aesthetic we can change the shape uh, it got more life on it uh, um, and anatomy wise we could uh, uh, control it 
بالنسبة للفينير بورسلين top of the core إنه ما يكون أكثر من 2 ملم if there can actor in 2 mm uh, there is a high chance of fracture a more brittle so 2 mm and less is a uh, is what it is we're looking for for the person on top of the physiconium so we should calculate it before the prep and you know i need 0.5 physiconium coping at least person should be less than 2 mm في المونوليثيك زيركونيا it is less aesthetic لانه you know, الشيء uh, اللي نتحكم فيه is by staining only there is no porcelain on top of it. Also, the anatomy you know, you can around and more, so uh, it's not more aesthetic than veneer zirconia. For veneer zirconia, the applied porcelain on top of it, we can shape it to make it more aesthetic. Also, the shade, it can be uh, controlled more with the veneer porcelain. The only problem with the veneer, it's uh, less uh, uh, stronger than the monolithic zirconia. You know, at core 0.5, uh, there is a chance, you know, uh, Porcelain apply on top of it to see the shipped off. كيف أنا ممكن أحصل على more durable zirconia uh, with more aesthetic? Uh, we could mix the principles together. And the part of the crown, and they call fully thickness of zirconia. The other part of the crown, it could be veneered to enhance the aesthetic. There is many studies, you know, we tell them, okay, I can increase the durability of the zirconia core in a veneer zirconia. Uh, by, you know, we leave a zirconia core, uh, we leave a shoulder about one millimeter or, or more. Will porcelain veneer on top of it uh, start after one millimeter? طبعا, aesthetic wise, uh, still we keep the high aesthetic uh, look. And the same time, we increase durability. How this study is is a, a lab study, uh, and um, uh, they said with one millimeter shoulder of the zirconia, and you know, we can increase the durability of the zirconia veneer zirconia crown. But this is the problem. No one can see chipping the porcelain uh, on the occlusal surfaces because that's where the most of the stress is going on. This is most of the chewing is going on, and no okay, one can identify the hash. This is a good design, you know, I gain a durability in a full thickness zirconia. We only add veneer zirconia in the buckle. So the rest of it is only zirconia thickness. The buckle only is cut back for design, طبعاً for software. Let me say milling, you can cut back before they mill it. Uh, you keep a window, a little bit of window, only minimum 0.5 millimeter of zirconium. And then they apply porcelain on top of it later on. Control the shade, control the aesthetic, uh, it looks better. طبعا في الانتيريور most of the time we use the veneered zirconia because the monolithic zirconia is it's not gonna look aesthetic. Even though if we shade it, if we uh, stain it with different stain, it still will look opaque. There's no life on it. Method transducing fire and it looks like the adjacent tooth. So most of the time in the anterior we do veneered zirconia. طبعا في مشكلة between bonding between porcelain with zirconia. Uh, it's only mechanical bonding. Uh, it, it, that's why there is a high chance in this porcelain chipping porcelain from the uh, zirconia core. Especially in the anterior region. And the force is horizontal. It might chip it away. And there is uh, about 20% in 5 years. I did study in 2010. And you see that chipping the porcelain, especially in the anterior region. Compare to the porcelain uh, chipping in a PFM and only 0.5.5 in 15 years. Uh, th this is because in the bonding between a porcelain and well, metal alloys or gold alloys is different than the zirconia um, core. So there is a difference in preparation between the crown and the fixed partial denture? It is the same preparation. But what is the difference in الفيكس بارت دينشر اللي هو الديزاين حق الكونكتور اللي بتوين الابوتمنت اند بونتيك طبعا الكونكتور از فيري امبورتنت السايز از فيري امبورتنت في الانتيريور ريجن لما يكون عندي فيكس بارت دينشر الكونكتور سايز شو بي 2 باي 3 2 ان هايت 3 ملم ان ويت ذس از ويل ميك شور انه ذير از ا لو تشانس ان يصير فراكتر واحنا قلنا ان الزيركونيا از بريتل في البستيرو فيكس بارش دينشر الكونكتور سايز it should be 3 by 3 طبعا why it's different than the anterior because انه فيه 
and most of the chewing, most of the forest is going on in the posterior region. Had of a normal person, a normal person he could force about 500 newton. So 3 by 3 is okay. This is according to most of the studies. For the proxer patients, the force is about more than 800 newtons. So, um, very high force. And the last we should consider a bigger size in the connector. So the height for connector for proxer it should be 4 by 4. And this is important to know we should not use 3 by 3 connector size because it might crack, it might fracture. For 4 unit fixed posture denser, a connector size should be 4 by 4. This is for normal patient, like in either patient proxer, this type of process is not recommended. We should not do uh, 4 unit fixed posture denser zirconia uh, in proxer patient because there is a high chance of failure. Uh, Zirconia in general, we said you no know, lazim al feature kulla rounded, uh, sharp edges, especially in the connector, there is a high chance in the fracture, see the crack. So everything should be rounded the connector. According to the study, in you no know, lazim al uh, radius, roundation hagal connection or connectors uh, in the um, clusal and in the gingival side, and you no know, icon about. Uh, 0.6 millimeter radius, and yani round it. So, in the framework, the current framework of Mnilma'amal, I can say try and and you have to check this. It should not be sharp, because a sharp, it might cause fracture or crack, and then propagate very fast. طبعا, the connector size also it can be controlled by the the width or the height of the crown in the marginal ridge. Ila margin and prep or prep margins for the proximal site. Ida ina indi sitta millimeter from the margin ridge. Ila had the margin of the preparation. You know, he kon indi thirty milli connectors. مع اثنين porcelain, اثنين milli porcelain. وانتكنا مع انه one millimeter and the uh, occlusal and uh, one millimeter uh, porcelain in the gingival impregers. Uh, also, I know lazim we keep one millimeter gingival impregger space, uh, the hygienic space. As a patient, he can clean. He can clean underneath uh, the connector between the pontic and the abutment. If we had to know a clinical crown from the margin ridge to the preparation margin at the proximal side, in no أقل من ستة ملي. Uh, we still keep the connector size, which is three millimeter. We cannot do less than this. Maybe I'm I'm going to do a portion on top of it, so it's gonna be only in the occlusal surface. We're not gonna do it in the gingival uh, surface or the gingival uh, site. But we still keep the one millimeter gingival impregers. So there is two things we cannot change it: in the connector size and the gingival impregger space or the hygienic space, which is about four millimeter. لما يكون عندك السيناريو إنه والله الهايت كراون هايت على البروكسيمال سايد إنه 4 ملم. Now we think twice. إنه still the connector size it should be 3 ملم. The hygienic space it should be 1 ملم. So this is total 4. So what should I do? There is no chance in I saw we veneered porcelain on top of it. So that's gonna be monolithic fixed posture denture. In case you know, we call the clinical crown for proximal side, you know, أقل من four millimeter. And I two factor I cannot change: the connector size, the height is about three millimeter. One hygienic space, the impregger, uh, gingival impregger, it's called one millimeter. طيب أقل من كذا أنا ما أقدر أسوي zirconia uh, fixed partial denture anymore. So I have to think about another material, which is. The other eligible material in this case, which is the uh, PFM fixed partial denture. Inshallah, you will fit and update you with information about zirconia. Of course, zirconia is not uh, a small topic, a big topic. I was talking about it for a long time. لكن انا كنت بعطيكم مسجز وتيبس انه كيف ممكن انك تتفادى الاخطاء في الكلينيك كيف ممكن انك تشوف الديزاين سوي ايفالويت للزيركوني كراون 
بيفور يو سمنت ات اف يو جيت فروم ذا لاب او ممكن انك تعطي انت معلومات اللاب تكشن ممكن تسويها بالطريقه الفنيه لانه انت تبغى سكسس حلو للماتيريال على لونج تيرم سكسس